So now that we have our basic rigged simple sperm, let's see how we can use Blender's action system and Blender's linked group system to efficiently add lots and lots of these into one scene. First of all, let's look at the actions. Now that we have these bones that do certain things, we can look at the action editor here. And if we click on these little two arrows, we can see that we have a bunch of predefined actions made in the file. For instance, we have SS Riggle, which is an action that basically shoots up this bone forever vertically in the Y space, like so. causing the thing to wriggle at a certain speed. We also have various actions that have one frame that's doubled up on this tailbone here. For instance, that move the tail like so. Or that they bend it down. Or bend it to the left and the right at different angles. And they have only one keyframe on that that's held for the entire duration of the action. What that allows us to do is to go into the NLA editor and add these actions as strips. And I'll show that how that's done in a minute, but before I do that, I'll show yet another way that the scene is organized. You'll notice that all the objects here have a green wireframe color. And that's because they're all members of a group. And that group is here, secondario sperm. Because they're a member of a group, they can be linked in as one object into a file. Let's create a new file. erase everything in it and save it in the same folder as tutorial 15.blend. Now that we've saved the file, Blender knows the path of it, we can start linking things into the file from other blend files with relative paths. We'll do file, append or link, switch the button to link and click on relative paths browse around until we get to our sperm source file, click on group, and click on secondario sperm. You can middle click here, or you can click on it once and click load library. It looks like nothing happened, but if you use your add menu item, or spacebar and add, you can add a group, and you can add an instance of it. And you can simply duplicate this by hitting Shift D, or you can click the cursor somewhere and add another one. Now these can be rotated, scaled, or animated in your scene as much as you want, just by moving them around and keying that. So for instance, I can open a timeline here so I can see what I'm doing. I can take this, click on the record button, click it here, move the time forward, and then move it forward like this. But that doesn't cause it to, cause it to animate in a convincing fashion. So let's see how we can actually add those actions in that we had from the other scene. I'll turn sh change into an NLA editor so we can see what we're doing. And I'll append some more things. In fact, I'll link them. Again with relative paths, but instead of linking a group from that file, I'll link actions. And I'll actually select all these actions that start with SS that apply to this secondary sperm, and I'll load them in to my scene. Now with this with this particular object selected, I can hover my mouse in the NLA, hit Shift A, and add a wriggle action as a strip. Nothing appears to change at first. 
until I hit the end key here. And in the transform properties for that stip, strip, I add the name of the speed control armature as the target of my action. Now it wriggles for as long as the strip is active. I can now scale the strip so it wriggles over the length of the animation. And you notice that slowed down the speed of it. But I can go here and unlock this and type in a number here that res resembles the strip end number to keep the speed the same. And I can increase that number to speed it up more, or I can decrease it to slow it down. Now I can still do more things here to vary this, the shape of the tail. So I can go to this frame here and add another strip. Let's say this SS bend down action and also type in speed control as a target. And you'll notice that the tail bends down at these frames. And I can further smooth that bend by adding some blend in and blend out to that strip that cause it to smoothly blend in to that pose and out of it. And the nice thing is I can add different animations to all of these instances of the group. So I can click on this empty here, hover my mouse over here in the NLA editor, click Shift A and add the wriggle strip and then scale it up like so. Hit the N key, give it the speed control target, and now you'll notice that it is swimming much slower than its smaller sibling. And I can do the same for this, this one here, and thus I can have each one of these with a different action on it in my scene file. And so we can have multiple instances of the same group swimming at different speeds with different bend actions applying at different times. And if you're a Python programmer, you can easily write a simple script that will put random NLA strips on each one of these things so you can create randomly shifted actions on them at different times. And you can animate the object centers to cause them to appear to swim around in space. And you can even place that animation on a path like you would with a normal armature.